After thoroughly reviewing, we have now re-enabled Add Serving to this site. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how we got to this point, how we were able to successfully appeal after Add Serving has been disabled by Google, and some reasons why your appeal is not working. Let's go. Let's first discuss some of the common reasons AdSense accounts are disabled for invalid traffic. And by the way, if it's an invalid traffic, this is the link you have to go to in order to submit an appeal. If it's disabled for policy violation, this is the link where you go to. Check out the description box below. I'm going to post those links as well. Some of the common reasons why your AdSense account is disabled for invalid traffic you are clicking the ads on your own site or one or more users repeatedly clicking ads on your site. You are generating or receiving automated or bot traffic using an incentivized traffic source, encouraging users to support your site through ad interaction. You're manipulating how ads are served, ads embedded in applications, or it's just bad ad implementation deceptive for users in order to accidentally click on your ads. For policy violations, common reason your account can be disabled if you have pornographic, adult, or mature content, you have user-generated content and no moderation in place, you're violating spam policies for Google web search, deceptive ad placement, copyright infringement, or illegal content. Now let me walk you through on how to fill out the appeal form and increase your chances of getting approved by Google and have your ad serving reinstated. So first of all, if it's due to invalid traffic, you're going to enter your name, next, your pub ID, your contact email address. This should be the email address associated with your AdSense account or the account that has been disabled. This allows AdSense or Google to find the right account when they are doing their investigation. Here, you have to fill in the URL or the app ID where the ads were placed. Again, these are only example URLs, so you can grab a couple, two to three URLs, it's up to you where you have placed your ads. Next, URLs or app ID where you intend to place the ads, and this has to be active, meaning it has to be accessible during the time of the investigation. Next. Have you ever purchased traffic? In this section, you have to be very honest. If yes, just say yes, because it's not going to be a blocker. If you have purchased traffic, that doesn't mean AdSense will disable or reject your appeal right away. Just be honest here because you have a space below to explain yourself further. If you did not purchase traffic at all, then of course you say no. Next. Here you need to explain how users get to your site, how they discover the content of your site, how you promote your content. How are you getting traffic? So here, example, you can say we partnered with a social media influencer, Viral Posts Worldwide, that's the name of the social media page, whose fan base is around 50 million collectively, across different social media platforms. We paid one cent for every click they can generate for our site. We provided them with affiliate link and we were under the impression that these clicks were legitimate as they have a huge fan base. Next, this is where you explain if your site has ever violated the AdSense or Ad Manager program policies and terms and conditions. So if you were flagged for any violations before, this is where you should put in the detail. If this is the first time that you have ever been flagged for a violation, then you have to specifically say so as well in your appeal. So here, I was very honest for something that has been flagged on the site before. Like for example, this site was flagged for missing a privacy policy, privacy policy page before and we were able to fix and comply right away. And then I will mention that we were never flagged for invalid traffic, but our analytics report shows a sudden spike of traffic from Asia on May, May 29th, which is not normal as we rarely get Asian visitors. 
very honest, very straightforward with supporting data and not just trying to make an excuse. Here you can specify some of the possible reasons for invalid activity on your site and provide detailed information about all specific reasons that you believe to be relevant in your case. Next, very important section of your appeal. What changes will you implement to help improve traffic quality on your site, mobile app, and or YouTube channel? This is now the section where you will really have to convince Google that you are very serious about this violation, that you are not a publisher who is just there for advertising or just to get traffic and make money from ads. Aside from mentioning that you're going to have your team review all your ad implementation and your site layout to make sure there is a very good site navigation there and your ads are not prone to being clicked accidentally by users, you also need to mention a very huge undertaking, something that really tells Google you are very serious about this and resolving this issue with them. And here's how to attack that section. All right, now we are talking. We have partnered with Monetize More to run their invalid traffic detection and suppression tool called Traffic Up. This way, we can block the bots from getting ads. Actually, that's not what it is. We can block the ads from serving to bots and able to measure the quality of traffic we're getting. Because you all, if you are subscribed to Traffic Up, you're going to get this dashboard. You will also see ad stacking instances on your site. If you're violating any content policy, if you have any ad units that are hidden accidentally, or if there are any ads that are abusively serving, meaning it keeps refreshing aggressively, for example, on the site, then those are the types of things that you will also be getting aside from traffic up being able to track blocked impressions due to invalid traffic you will see how much of your traffic is suspicious invalid and the total risk on your site how traffic up does that if it detects that the visitor is a bot traffic for example it will not really stop the bot from visiting the site but instead it will stop the ads from serving on that bot or invalid traffic. So you can track them here. And at the same time, you can be sure that none of your ads are serving if it's an invalid or bot traffic. So the only time ads can serve is if traffic op detects that it's genuine human traffic. And guess what? Google has recognized traffic op and was awarded Google Innovation Award twice. So when you mention it on your appeal, obviously Google will be able to recognize that. In here, include any data from your site, app, or YouTube channel, traffic logs, or report that indicates suspicious IP addresses, refers, or requests, which could explain invalid activity. And this one you can also get from Traffic Op if you would like to include that in your report. So very easy. All you need to do is export this and attach it in your appeal. You can upload it in Google Drive and have the link in here. Once you're all set, go ahead and review everything to make sure you didn't miss any single detail. And once you're done, click this and click on Submit. And now the policy violation appeal is more straightforward than invalid traffic appeal, obviously. So all you need to do here is really provide information as to why your account should be reconsidered. And guess what? You can learn this and many other tips and tricks on how to further improve your ad revenue, troubleshoot ad placement issues, and all other tips in ad optimization. When you go to PubGuru University, there's advanced ad optimization course, AdSense course in both English and Brazilian Portuguese, Google Ad Exchange, Google Ad Manager, and the Publisher Ad Optimization Masterclass, 
which is free. All right, I'm going to post some of the links in the description down below. Feel free to check them out and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.